How to craft 700 gear score? Well, it's not as difficult as it might seem. The first thing that you might need is a prismatic scarab. You can just go to your stone cutting station. You will have to level this completely, but at the very bottom, you'll see that you can craft one. You need 10 scarabs, three prismatic blocks, and so forth. A little bit of pure solvent as well. And you can craft the prismatic blocks at the station as well. And you need a few other blocks for this, like powerful gemstone dust as well. But this is how basically you craft the scarab just at the stone cutter station. Then we're going to need something else, Azov Inductor. You can get this at the faction vendor. Let me quickly show you. If you go to the faction vendor, we can open up the shop here. We go to rewards. I think it's at the very bottom. Let me just take a quick look. You'll find it. Here we go. It is a lot of tokens and money, 25,000 25, gold, 71,000 tokens. So get this as well. And then let's head over to the crafting stations. For the crafting stations, we will need like prismatic material as well. Not too difficult to get. You can see prismatic ingot. This is basically just like Asmodium, but just a little bit different. Here's the regular Asmodium. If you scroll all the way down, if you level this, it should be able to unlock. But basically what you need is Asmodium plus Mythic roll. I don't know, Mythic something ingot. And this ingot also requires Ori Alchem. And I don't think this is on a cooldown, but the Prismatic ingot is on a cooldown. So craft all of these. Same goes for the hides and I guess the, the weave, the Phoenix weave. Well, prismatic cloth. So you get all of these together as well as the wood and you should be able to craft best in slot. Now, what do you need? Obviously, you need your old armorer's clothing. You need the earring plus the food buff that you need to pop. So let's quickly pop a food buff here. Just go gear score here. And obviously, you're going to need your trophies as well, which I already have. I have ultimate trophies in my houses three of my houses then you can just go over to the forts we do need timeless shards as well which i can just go here here you can see i can craft here things with three perks but we have all of it let me just change this you can see it requires 50 mods 10 timeless shards and then a prismatic scarab and one azov inductor and we need azov as well let me just pop my eyes off bottles since I do not have them. And let's craft something quick, quick. Just something to like hold us. Just to show. Let me go. I'm just going to go with the headpiece. So let's go here. And then we can choose anything. Let's take a look. What do we want to craft? There's quite a lot of mods. Obviously, I do not have access to the latest mods. But then we quickly jump around and choose some mods. I managed to quickly gather all the mods. It did take me a bit of sifting through everything. But you can see we've got our three mods here. We've got our best in slot piece. You can see it will roll with strength, shirking forward, refreshing freedom. This is the quick mod. I don't know if this is best, best in slot, but here is 700 gear score. Let's craft it. And it should come out perfect. Super good. It's quite expensive to do though. But here is best in slot little piece. But you can see 160 like ingots, 120 and then 80. So that's how you craft best in slot 300. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, then give this video a like. And don't forget to go follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming when the expansion launches.